right, so let's check this out. We got the uh, lift. Boom. Okay. Cool, cool. And then we got actual view here. Boom. <laughs> cool. All right. So let me check what you have in your mail. And the main thing you see here, 218 to 229. Okay, hold on. The frame counter is tiny. Tiny. 218 here to 229. Okay. 218 to 229. Okay, maybe you're talking about this section here. You're talking about the um, elbow popping. Ah, oh, this guy. There you go. Okay, I get it. I get it. You think I should try something completely different because I can't control the elbow? I see. I mean, I don't know the rig. I don't know if the, if the rig has bendbows or um, an elbow like snap thing, where you would just have to go frame by frame and shape that change so that you can get rid of the, the pop like that. I mean, that would be one thing. Or let's say like this. What if that arm is further out? Let me see. I mean, I think I mentioned that last time. That's something you could do is where you have the lift here and then watch out. There's also the sore kind of pops into a spot and then kind of stops abruptly and then even here a bit of a wait a bit faster through there i mean generally i would say it's cool there's some moments where like through here i see some spacing issues in the upper body where it kind of suddenly locks like it goes forward and then it locks almost pivots the screen space and then goes to the left whoa goes to the right whoa and then hits a wall goes to the left again stops right there for a little pivot continues to the left and then back to the right and then even here you have forward a little bit of a stop forward again so i think the general thought i have for this version is just spacing cleanup and just getting rid of pops and even stuff like this where and that sort drops there's something where it, like this comes up a bit floaty coming up here and then just kind of drops and it feels like like it's very isolated in the forearms through there where I would have a bit less through there but then a bit more in the shoulders it feels more like this goes down but it affects the rest up here as well it's definitely showing weight yeah I just see the hiccups through there low the forward momentum I think that's still great and then watch out after she drops I mean, again, you have spacing issues where it goes down and then suddenly pops right there, right? Small, 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 big one. And if this was, again, it's a longer drop into whew, something heavy. But the thing is, this is heavy and it feels like it pulls her down. Everything goes down. And then suddenly it's getting lifted with this. But that is not, like, that's a massive, strong forearm muscle with bicep tricep muscle there it's lifting this because it's not a lift through the upper body with extended arms or lifting this really heavy it's not resting on the leg where maybe leans forward and the thigh props it up like this is this is only lifted up right through there through this section through the arm and that's, i just don't quite buy that because you're going through so much to show how heavy this is it's nice Definitely heavy. Boom. But then I'm just not quite buying that one through there. Once we're here, what I'll be careful about too is that given that this is so heavy, you might have to I'd say lock that arm, but you know, there's so much weight on this arm that maybe there's less of something like this, some flexing. But that might be too picky. I think to answer your original question, what I would do is through there, you start extending that arm out so that there's a cleaner silhouette of elbow and arm. Swings over, and again, that arm is up here. It's like a really 
big broadcast of I'm going to grab this with this arm and then that arm could come from here down to here. That makes sense, right? So it's it's up there and then down to this. So you're avoiding that flipping because the elbow is not so close to the shoulder and body. That arm is actually up in the air and the sword is only held by this arm to really telegraph, I'm going to grab this. You know, like imagine if that's your pose like this, imagine the previous pose could just be forearm or upper arm, forearm. You know what I mean? Where it just does a an arm flex down into this pose. You know, even here, imagine that arm before that was here and now it's here where it just kind of goes down and all this happens in a way only with one arm. I know it might be tricky with the angle of the wrist here, but I think that would be one way to avoid that flipping. Again, watch out. It feels like this Xalia pops up a little bit here. And then this, I would also be careful just weight wise because it is so heavy. Character is like, this is heavy pivot here lifting but right now there's nothing really that can lift that sword except this and this would be your i guess your tricep at this point right so this is like a pull through the arms but then whoa this is suddenly really strong to get this into this position but that arm the body hasn't really moved forward all we're having right now is a is a stronger upper body move forward but in order to swing this, I think the character would have to be in this position, meaning that I would I would go a bit longer with the sword is here, pivoting here. Now, but that that leg here pushes the body up, where you can almost have that maybe a bit straighter. I'm just thinking out loud here, where it's almost more like that. Right, head is here, and now that arm is straight, and it's it's the body here that pushes this up so that at this point the sword might still be like this again it's so heavy gravity is going to keep it down and the only way this is going forward is the upper body root leg boom, does this now you suddenly have upper body momentum that thing can swing those arms and that prop over but even then you might instead of this i wonder how this would feel if if she was like that just wondering, and this might be a weird break with this, but I'm wondering if you want to, we're going to C curve into a reversal and that swing over, that's really going to pull those arms into this. And then the same thing here is that this is now so strong, you're going to have really broad momentum. So the arms are extended and then getting a bit more extended. And then here, extended, right? to here extend it that makes sense because <laughs> to me it feels like now this is so heavy we have all this momentum why is the sword going from here to here to here whoa suddenly dropping into this i know we want to make this like a strong boom i get it but i think you still have to observe that forward momentum and at that point those arms this is also be broken with the wrist so it's going to help you by shoulder up arms arms and you know sword would be would be here and then also again silhouette might help you keeping this cleaner by having it more like this right and since that's the end anyway and i will be careful with how much bouncers let's see hit up down i oh, know Oh, this is super picky, but taking that last one out, getting rid of that little extra wobble, I think it's going to help you as well. Because again, this is now so heavy, but also a cut into the ground that it might just be strong. You go boom, and just sticks in the ground. I would potentially even reduce how far this sword goes out, given how deep we're in here. Just the thought for the end. It feels almost too wobbly. But like the overall timing is cool. I like all the, the rhythm of it. I like that, you know, that forward move. I love still this. It's great. Yeah, still picky notes here and there, but I like it. All right. 
There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.